Hey guys, this is my first uh, video response actually to any of these videos and comments and whatnot. Um, recently posted a quick video on how to use .NET's pin class in PowerShell and using it over the old DOS style command prompt ping, so ping google.com. Uh, just very general old school trick to verify you can reach a server in some way. Um, and I hadn't really thought about what was the best or even the fastest, but I did mention a couple of times that it was faster than the old DOS. Um, and I got an interesting question actually on Google Plus on the video from, I'm sorry, I hate to mispronounce the name, but Akos uh, Batterfi. And again, sorry if I completely ruined your name, and I do hope that you watch this and have a response. Um, but it was high. Is this faster than the command test connection that seems to give me more properties too than via the .NET way? Um, and I thought that was a very good question. Um, actually, it made me think a little bit about what I thought was going to happen. And I was actually a little bit surprised. Um, I expect that if we actually trace it down, it probably is really .NET somewhere. Um, so experimenting with it a little bit. Um, those of you not familiar with it, uh, test connection and then uh, your host, just like you would in Ping or with the um, video I posted the other day. And you get some good information. You'll see you get a nice format, you get an object so that you can easily get some good properties back from it too. Um, so it really is uh, good and it's flexible. Um, but the question was, is it faster? And so I wrote a little script to kind of look at that. Um, I took a set of hosts, again this time just in a regular PowerShell array. Um, I added a couple too. So I've got the Google and the Bing and YouTube. Uh, I also did an IP address that doesn't actually exist and then uh, ho the home loopback. Um, and then what I did is I used the .NET stopwatch class and I used essentially the same thing from the other video. If you want to look at that, I'll put that in the description, a link to the video so that you can look and see what we did previously. Um, and then it starts the stopwatch before the loop, goes through the loop and tests each of those hosts. And then it stops stopwatch and takes the elapsed ticks. Okay, then we do a new stop, or we start a new instance of the stopwatch. We loop through the host again, and then we do a stopwatch stop. And test connection is then the elapsed ticks again. Um, and actually, I'm sorry, this is broken. I should have cleared this out before I got this far. Um, then I write out the ping class and how long that ver or that stopwatch wrote uh, the test connection how long that one was in elapsed ticks and then I subtract test connection from ping class because it actually is pretty interesting um, and then we run it so I wrote it so that it would write everything out we could see what it was doing so we see Google is a success Bing is a success YouTube success IP address that doesn't exist I get destination host unreachable for my dot status and then success everywhere else. And then we go through and we do it the same way basically with the test connection. And we see we get nice format as long as it works right. Um, on the side of best, we see that it doesn't necessarily do great on its own with exceptions. So for a best, this means that you do need to handle these a little bit more strictly. You can't rely on just dot status to get you through at least sometimes and that's something you would need to be aware of uh, set your uh, error action appropriately that sort of thing um, but to his core question does it take longer um, just at a glance we see that we've got about 46 million ticks for the ping class to loop through and we have about 526 million on the test connection um, and the difference is significant definitely significant it's 480 million ticks difference so that's actually the difference is still a hundred times longer than it took to just run through the ping class but I wasn't completely fair this way so I went through again and we look at our test connection and 
one thing you notice if you had watched that window earlier, which let's hope I didn't close it. Yep. Uh, each host it tries four times. So on this test test connection where it has to do the exception, it's going to take a very very long time. So I'm going to be fair and I am going to do one count and I'm going to eliminate the delay. So this might even make it give it an advantage over the ping class for .NET. So we run it again. See it runs pretty quick until until we get to the test connection fail. And it's going to happen here on the IP address that doesn't exist. Test connection, uh, it doesn't like my delay. So why don't we get rid of that and we'll try it one more time. Okay, so again, takes it a minute to fail on the IP address that doesn't exist. And it goes pretty quick here too, but we still get a fail, we get an exception, and then let's look at how our times actually play out. So again, we stay fairly consistent here. I've got about 43 million, almost 44 million ticks on the ping class. Look here, and I have about 88 million. So it's still about twice as long. And even if we look at it, 45 million over 43. So the difference is still technically a little bit higher there uh, than the ping class all by itself. So I think that actually answers it pretty well. The fastest really is going to be using just the ping class. And I'm really actually interested to dig into it a little bit more. Um, I'm wondering what our memory footprint looks like between the two of them as well. Um, my guess is because there is more data in the test connection on the properties that you probably have a slightly larger object each object. And unless you're disposing of it properly or you're doing other things, you may run into other issues. Um, so I think if you don't need the extra power that the test connection gives you, just the .NET class for the ping might really be the better way to go. Um, so again, um, I really do thank you, Acos, um, and I hope that this helps you out. Thanks.